If you are anything like me, you'd hate manual tasks. You'd hate typing numbers into a spreadsheet, especially when you make a mistake. You'd be dragging yourself out of bed in the morning when you know that today is the day that you'll be ticking and tying numbers together. This is why I get excited about accounting automation, and this is why I share it all with you right here. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be addressing the question whether it's worth it to go out and get an accounting degree based on everything that's going on today with automation and how automation is changing the landscape of the accounting profession. And the main reason why I'm making this video is because the previous video I made on accounting automation generated tons of comments and questions from you guys where everyone is thinking this is the Armageddon for the accounting profession. So I wanted to clear things up and address this question properly in its own video. So the way I'm gonna structure today's video is first, I'm gonna give you the answer to whether or not it's worth it to go out and get an accounting degree today based on automation. So first I'm gonna give you the answer so that if you're in a hurry, you can get the answer and move on. But I promise you that it's worth it to watch the entire video because I'm gonna give you insight from my experience as a corporate controller into what's going on today in the company when I see automation comes in, how that's impacting the structure of teams and the shifting of the jobs and responsibilities. So we're gonna go over the answer first and then I'm gonna go over um, the two types of automations that are out there. There are two major types of automations that are impacting the accounting profession. We'll discuss that and then I'm gonna give you an example of how uh, one type of automation is impacting one team in an accounting and in, in the organization. So we'll cover that and then I'm gonna give you the three reasons why I think that the automation has a net positive impact on accountants in general. So this is the high level structure of today's video. So let's get into it. All right guys, so like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna give you the answer first to the question whether it's worth it or not to go out and get an accounting degree given everything that's going on with automation today and the effect of it on the accounting profession. So the answer to the question is that it's a yes and but. And let me explain here in a minute. So yes, it is worth it to go out and get an accounting degree today. Um, uh, given everything that's going on and you'll make more money so there'll be more money to be made because now you're going to be driving efficiency throughout the organization uh, as an accountant when you work with automation you're going to couple your accounting expertise with automation knowledge and bring in more efficiency and more value to the organization so you're going to be making more money as a result but and this is a big but you need to be automation minded right so you need to be automation minded and what I mean by that is that you're gonna be someone who's gonna let go of the old ways of doing things and adapt new technologies, right? So if there is a new, um, easier way to do things with technology, you're gonna be an, the accountant who's gonna be calling this out. So if you're doing expense reports for employees manually and you find that it's much easier and more efficient to do it with an expense management platform like Abacus or Expensify, you're gonna adapt that, right? So uh, the uh, person who's gonna be uh, driving automation um, is gonna be making more money and also is gonna be someone who is bringing in more efficiency to the organization. Uh, so overall, I think it's a yes, absolutely. The accounting profession is gonna benefit from automation in general, and it's gonna drive higher morale and higher job satisfaction. And I'm gonna get to that uh, in a later part of the video. So that's the answer to the question. As I promised you, I've given it to you first. And now if you're in a hurry, you can pause the video and watch the rest of it later. But I promise you that it's worth watching because I'm gonna bring in much more insight into what automation is doing to accounting today. Now, in terms of accounting automation, there are two major types of accounting automation that are going on today that are affecting the accounting profession. So let's go over and summarize these two types of automation real quick here. So the first one is gonna be system integration. And this means connecting two systems together for efficiency. And then the second type is RPA. And RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. And this means that you're creating, in essence, a mini robot that lives in the cloud that will perform a certain task over and over and over again. Something that usually a human would have normally done, but now you're creating a small robot that's basically creating, doing the same function of that human. So system integration and RPA. Let's quickly cover example of uh, uh, both of these so that we understand them better. So with system integration, we said that this is connecting two systems together to talk to each other so that you remove the human element out of the equation. So an example of a system integration would be, for example, connecting your HR information system to your ERP. So if this is your ERP on one side 
and this is your human resources information system where you keep the information of your employees so these are all of your employees information here and the human resources information system this is your ERP uh, and system integration between the two would mean that you're connecting this uh, HRIS to the ERP via API um, and you are then the data will flow from here to here instead of you taking the information manually from this system and typing in into the ERP right so this is an API integration this is the first type this is what we refer to as a system integration Now, an example of an RPA or robotic process automation uh, would be taking the same thing. So if you have a human resources information system that houses the data of your employees and you have your ERP on the other end. Um, so then the difference here um, is that instead of having an API between these two systems, you are doing a, a robot. So this bot, the function of this bot is that it's going to every day is going to log in into the system of the human resources grab the new information, open up the ERP, and input this data into the ERP. So it's a very similar outcome, basically, but this requires much more expertise, requires more coding, basically. You need to know more programming uh, so that you can create this kind of robot that will do this kind of, inf this kind of uh, information transfer. So uh, these are the two major types of, of uh, categories of automation. First is system integration, the, the, like the one we looked at first, and this is an RPA or robotic process automation, requires more expertise. Typically accountants normally don't do this type of RPA. You would need to bring in an expert from the outside to do this kind of stuff. Um, but the system integration is the easier of the two. And this is sort of the low hanging fruit for you as an accountant to do because it's pretty easy for you to do a system connection between an expense management and ERP or H HRIS and ERP. System integration is gonna be the low hanging fruit. These are the two major types of integrations. Now, for those of you who are concerned about the job loss in the market because of automation, let me give you an example to alleviate the concern that you have about that, right? Because it's not a clear cut. It's not like automation is going to make people lose their job in accounting. It doesn't work like that. So let me give you an example of how it works within a team in accounting. When you introduce automation, what happens in that team? So let's look at an example of an accounts payable team. So this is an accounts payable team and has uh, two people working in accounts. These are two accountants working in accounts payable, right? So basically their function is to get the vendor invoices, um, look at it, make sure it's correct, uh, recorded in the system and all the stuff that goes with accounts payable, right? Now you introduce a, an automation into the process with a platform like build.com, right? So build.com basically is gonna uh, automate a lot of the process because in build.com the vendor can onboard themselves, right? So you can send a link to the vendor, the vendor can, can enter in their information, their banking information, uh, and basically then the vendor invoices can be uploaded directly into build.com, can be processed there, and then it just flows into the ARP, right? So you basically uh, automated almost half of the job, right? So basically now, instead of the two accountants doing AP, you're gonna only need one accountant doing AP, right? And the concern with the segregation of duty, uh, a lot of time is alleviated because build.com, for example, um, segregates the input of the master data for the vendor, so the vendor can put in their own information um, and uh, alleviates the burden of segregation of duties within the same accounting team, right? So now, all of a sudden, you need one of the accountants to do the work. What happens with the second accountant is that most of the time they're gonna transfer into a more strategic role of analysis, right? So suddenly this person is gonna be doing more analysis. They're gonna be looking into the uh, comparing actual to budget uh, spend, analyzing the differences, um, look and do analytics on API spend and uh, uh, DPO, which is day is payable outstanding. Um, the, the length of time it takes for the vendor to get paid uh, and doing more analysis. So it's not a clear cut uh, that people lose their jobs because of automation. A lot of the time it actually creates more value added 
So you keep the same accountants, but you have more value out of the same accountants, right? And more, frankly, at the end of the day, more uh, job satisfaction because these accountants are doing more strategic work and less mundane data entry type work. So this is an example of what happens to a team when you introduce uh, automation. And my point here is that you don't necessarily lose your job because of automation, actually quite, quite the opposite, you create more value as an accountant, right? So this is net positive for accountants going forward. Now, let me give you the summary or the juice of the entire discussion today in three bullet points, right? What are the effects and the positive effects of automation on the accounting profession in three bullet points? So the benefits are going to be number one, higher salaries. And the reason for the higher salaries is going to be as an accountant of the future who's going to be driving automation, you're going to be bringing in more value added and strategic thought to the company rather than a number cruncher, right? So instead of crunching the numbers all day, you're gonna be analyzing uh, because now you have systems doing all the work for you and now you're spending more your time creating uh, better processes, writing policies and analyzing and providing more value, right? So when you provide more value, you earn more money. It's gonna be as simple as that, right? So number one, benefit number one is higher salaries. Number two is gonna be uh, more job satisfaction. So. Imagine spending less time crunching numbers and ticking and tying and doing mundane work and spending more time doing more thought driven or strategic type work. At the end, you're gonna have more job satisfaction, right? It's gonna drive higher morale and job satisfaction in general. So people are gonna be attracted more to the accounting profession because of its job satisfaction. Whereas today and yesterday, we are spending as accountants a lot of time crunching numbers into a spreadsheet. This stuff is gonna be more automated and then it's gonna be more job satisfaction. The third point to make here is that you're gonna have um, a boost of confidence. And what I mean by a boost of confidence is that you're gonna have more confidence in your work in general as an accountant when you know that the system is handling the work from system to another and removing the human element, which is human, brings in the possibility of error, right? So basically you're gonna have more confidence in your work and that leads to higher uh, quality of work. And at the end, that's gonna circle back into the idea of more job satisfaction because when you have more satisfaction, more confidence in your work, you're gonna have more satisfaction in general in your career, right? So boosting your confidence, higher job satisfaction, and more money because of driving efficiency is the uh, effect of automation on the accounting profession in general. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure. That's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and share it with as many friends and coworkers as possible. And I'll see you in the next video.